What's up internet? In this video, we're gonna test out the adapter triggers for the PS5 controller on PC. As of right now, there are no games on PC that support the adapter triggers. However, there's a program that we can use to test out these adapter triggers to get an idea of what is it like to use them. The first thing we need to do is go get the program. So open up your favorite browser, go to this website right here, and I'll put the link in the description. And we're gonna download the latest version. Alright, let's get the zip file. Once downloaded, let's extract it. Before we open up the program, we need to connect our controller via USB. Alright, let's open up this folder and then let's run testing.exe. So the top portion here of the program, it's just lighting modes for the controller. So we're not going to be concerned with that. What we are interested in is the triggers. There's options to test for the left and right triggers. Notice how right is spelled wrong. <laughs> Let's go to the left trigger. Now go down to modes. So there's a few modes here. Okay. Uh, we're going to begin with GameCube. All right. With the GameCube, you know how if you press it down all the way, there's a little click at the end. So, and this simulates it. See that? You press it all the way, and then there's going to be a click. Isn't that cool? What? And then uh, we're going to just go ahead and go to Rigid. This mode control the resistance of the triggers, right? So it'll be harder for me to press. This slider right here controls at which point on the trigger does it activate. What does that mean? So if it's at the bottom, it's going to activate at the very beginning. If it's if the slider is slide all the way up, then it won't trigger it until it reaches all the way to the end. So you see like right now there's no resistance at all, right? But if I turn it all the way down, it's going to begin right away. So check this out. You can hear it, right? And this one over here controls the strength of it. So if I turn it up a little bit, now it's harder. You see that? Now I turn all the way up, it's going to be... Oh god, it's difficult to press. I mean, you got to really force it. Now we're going to go to Pulse. Pulse is kind of cool. So remember the GameCube, right? Where it activates like there's a little click at the end right pulse is the same thing except you can set the click to be any point on the trigger so since right now this slider is set all the way down so that means that it's gonna activate at the very beginning see that clicks right away but if I set it in the middle then I can press it down to the middle and then it'll click see that so it won't click into the metal. And you can really hear the motor spinning in there, right? Okay, this is a little easier. No, this is really hard. So what I think this third slider does is the click, right? The strength of the click. What is this? Let's do 99. Yeah no difference okay so let's go over let's go over to rigid plus extra one. Oh, oh check that out do you hear that you can hear the motor moving in there rigid plus extra one i think it means there's extra strength to it i have to use a lot more power to press this Okay, let's try this. Huh. Okay, this mode is not working for me. You know, I wish there's a reset button or something so I don't have to constantly readjust the sliders. Rigid plus extra one plus extra two. Alright, so there's a click with this mode. This is similar to pulse, but there's a bigger resistance. Alright, let's go to post extra one. Okay, what this mode is, not only there's a click, but there's also resistance after the click. 
Yeah, this mode is kind of like rigid. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so initially you don't feel anything. This slider over here, it activates the rumble. Okay, not sure if you can hear this, but listen. I guess this mode is good if you gun over heat. Yeah, that's cool. There's a buzzing sensation. Cool. Okay, pose, extra one, extra two. All right, so right now it's just resisting my presses. Okay, this sliders over here controls the buzzing. Yeah, this is like a, um, like a cell phone type of buzz. You know, when you get a phone call. There's resistance here and also the buzzing. That's quite cool. Okay, calibration mode. Alright, so there's a click. And then nothing else after that. So I think in calibration mode, you just press it once. And then it's ready to go. Alright guys, hopefully you found the video to be interesting. Give it a like and subscribe for more. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.